Say, dog, I'm Ooh. just gonna let the beat build, you know? No, man, you know, that real the deal. And you that ain't Arkansas, that authentic. Man, what it do, what it do, man? This is the episode of the bus stop, man. We got my boy Third Degree in this thing, man. Yes, sir. What it do, big dog? What it do? Man, you know my slogan is just another day at the office. We gonna move like the motion, man. We gonna move like the motion, motion of the ocean, baby. And really, where is that? For real, yeah. for real, for real, for real. Man, we at the office. Man, yeah, we were just talking about, man, we were just having a good, good, good conversation before these cameras come on, man. We actually could pick up on that, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and just how important it is for, 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 for us to stop sending our black men to prison, you know what I'm saying, and how, how it's getting overcrowded. Yeah, you know? well, mental health is the biggest part of that, you exactly. know what I'm saying? When we don't have a, a, a platform for conflict resolution. Yes. Is, the, is a major factor. We don't have yeah. a platform for accountability, and we don't have a platform for responsibility. Right. When you, once you take those out of the play, it's chaos. Right. And so we, we our platforms are saying go to jail. Our right. platform is saying kill, kill. And we were just saying the rappers ain't saying, hey boy, go to college. Right. Hey, grow a garden. Hey, we yeah. need to put an army together, and start something. We need for to be real. revolution ready. You know what I'm saying? For real. And you can do that in the most players, players. Gangsterous way on the gangsters of beats, but instead real. you'll get on the beat and say kill, 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 destroy, 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 crash out, crash out, right. kill your man, fuck over, fuck over your sister. Don't worry about saving her. Don't worry about the babies. Go to prison. It's better than there. You oh, know what yeah. I'm saying? Oh, and, yeah. I, and I think we have the power as black men to change that narrative because we control the dial. We do. We do. We do. And that's something that need to be preached about more and more and more. We got a lot of people that 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 I would consider OGs. They got position to make a change. And they scared. Why? Because they in competition with the youngsters. Mm, mm, mm. Competing, competing may offer a little bit of money sometimes. Right. Competing may offer a position. Right. Competing may offer me my position so strong I ain't ready to level up. I don't know how. Right. To, I may be miseducated myself. Right. I may be misguided myself. I just feel in this spot because I'm older than everybody. Right. And ain't nobody tap me on the shoulder and say, hey, man, you leading them, as the Bible say, the, the, the blind leading the blind. Right. They all go in a ditch. For real. So, more times than not, in the, at least in the last maybe 50 years since the Motown sound oh, yeah. uh, uh, dried up, the older man is in, co in competition with the younger one. Most definitely. And it's sad. It's so sad. And so who going to teach him? Who going to teach him? That's so sad. What What is one thing that people in position can do to, 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 to make a better, to make to make better way for our youngsters? Help them understand the importance of it. The people who teaching got to be accountable. Understood. The people who are teaching got to be responsible. Yep. They got to be accountable. Not not force it on the children. I got to be accountable. Before I, before I tell my son anything, I got to lead by example. Yes, sir. Before I pass on this information and this knowledge to anybody who I think needs to, to, to be groomed or disciplined or checked or whatever you want to say, I got to be living it. I got to be a beacon of light. I got to be shining. I got to be showing you, hey, this is the way to go, because I do it. Most and definitely. I showed you how to do it, not just Most told definitely. you how to do Most it. Definitely. And more times than not, we're doing the telling and we ain't doing the showing. Exactly, man. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. It's almost like this Kendrick Lamar situation. I was just looking at something earlier where people trying to turn it into some gang activity and help people understand the song that he was rapping. They trying to make it seem like that song was gang culture. And that his whole purpose behind the song was to bring gangs together. What you think about that? I think he was just making a song. <laughs> <laughs> I think he got a lucky song in the dark and um, people gravitated to it because they didn't have enough to listen to it at the time. Yeah, enough to listen to it at the time. You know exactly. What I'm saying? And, 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 and the West Coast ain't really had a, uh, a, a, a explosion. Explosion? Yeah. In a long time, the South been doing this, doing their thing for, yeah. for the last 30 since P, for yeah. real, for real. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we done had a couple artists from the West, and that's not to knock the West, but I'm saying an explosion. Explosion, like, yeah. Like the, the, the gin and juice, juice Dr. Dre, come on, uh, huh? nothing but a G thing, explosion type thing. Kendrick gave him that for this moment. And, and that's I, what and, I looked at today. And everybody jumped on it, because... If they not like us, brought all the gangs together. This should have been a million songs before. <laughs> Come on, <now. laughs> yeah, we, uh, we all in the same gang. Come on, now. Together, you know what I'm saying? But uh, and and if it did bring them together in, in any kind of way that's gonna keep them from destroying each other, I'm all for it. But okay. I, but I don't think that was his aim. No. I don't think that's. 
I think they, they needed somebody to gravitate to and they got behind. Hey, man, Kendrick got a song, man. That's exactly <laughs> yeah. what it was. Yeah. Exactly what it was. It's just funny how the world thinking the way it, it just, the gravitation of it is just weird to me. It's almost like it stopped at one point and went reverse. <laughs> it, it, it may not be, it may not be uh, as you said, it's almost like it did that. It may not be almost. It may really have happened. It might it. really have happened. Yeah, it may really have happened. And it's only a certain, uh, I hear all the time, 2024 is the year of the truth. Yeah. Ever, ever since probably uh, the cat interview, some, some everybody going to be telling the truth. Everybody telling the yeah. truth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And some people don't want to deal with the truth, even right. if it's in their face. Right. And those are the people that may have turned around and went the other way, even even Real the truth in their face, you know what I'm saying? Real talk, fam. Real talk, man. Because it's going to afford accountability and responsibility. Yes, it's the truth. Or death. Yes, sir. You're going to perish. You, you, yes, sir. Uh, if you touch the fire, it's going to burn you up. It's right. the truth, you know what I'm saying? If you don't want to get burnt up, don't touch the fire and respect the fire. And respect that fire. For what it can do. Most you know definitely. Or respect yourself <laughs> for, for what the fire can do to you. <laughs> to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's just a small analogy, but that's it, it works for a bigger good. Bigger good. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Most definitely do, bro. Most definitely. Man, that's just one thing that I feel like the world struggle with, man. Uh, the politics side of it, you know, networking, uh, introducing yourself, um, letting people know what good something can bring to them if they give it a try. You know what I'm saying? Like, be blunt. I was groomed in that. You heard me? Me too. Like, I was. You know, fuck your feelings. You know, you got a job yet? No, you're going to be broke forever. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Why would you, Grandma, why would you say that to me? Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shaking where I hurt. You're going to get up and get something. Yeah. But I ain't saying it hurt your feelings. Yeah. I said it to motivate you. True. And it did. It, it made me a monster. It made me look at the bigger picture. You know, am I, and I went to work for someone and it made me think, damn, am I, am I making all the money that I'm working for? Like, yeah. this don't make sense. What, <laughs> what are you taxing me for? Like, what this AML stand for on my tax stuff? And what what was chick stuff? What is going on here? So it made me want to become an entrepreneur myself yeah. and push and thrive and get the knowledge that I didn't know. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And open me up so I know what it can do for someone else. So that's why I feel like if more people get out and just on feet, footwork, soldiers, just put it in their face. Cause these young niggas ain't gonna stop and listen. You almost gotta grab them. Yeah. But that come back like we said about the proper grooming. Uh, and it ain't even generational. It was yeah. just the home. It starts a village. It take a village. It start at home. And if you got some uh, uh, stomp down morals and uh, guidelines in your environment, either you gonna get right or you gonna get left. I made a post. It go back. It made me think. I made a post a few weeks ago, and the post was simply saying, if parents took more time, if parents put in the time on the kids' education that they put in on. Pro graduations, yeah, <laughs> and first dance, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that it might make a difference. No, it ain't might. It will it make will, a difference. It will. And man, it was people shot off at me on that. Like, like when it gets there, like nigga, you must not be no parent that works every day is a week. Do do this. I'm like, man, you know it's funny y'all saying that because I actually do. I actually work more hours than you, thankfully, because I work for self. I remember being young and my grandmama Addie, uh, rest her soul, she was born in 1914. My great grandma, as a matter of fact. She had it, and my grandmother had it, she's still alive. They had it big about getting a book in your hand. Right. Picking up a book and reading. Right. Ain't never, man, I don't care if you're on the clock, if you want to, man, read something. Read something. Get informed. Read something. Get informed. Get in tune with information. Information, man, for and, real. And, and well, as you were saying about being able to put yourself out there as a businessman, yes. or shake hands and make plans, talk to people, be assertive. That, that all come with that type of grooming that, that a lot of people don't have because they, they, they their social skills are lacking because the people that's, uh, uh, it's easy to get on the internet, it's easy to hide behind a computer than it is to step out and shake a hand and say, hey, I, how you doing? My name is Darren Johnson. I'm here to talk to you about such and such and such, such. I'd like to make you aware that I have this to offer. Uh, right. How can we, and, and that also goes back, back to a, a slight on the mental health with a whole culture is not talking about nation building. No. And a whole other culture is talking about nation. All the cultures are talking about nation building or they're living in a capacity where nation building has been put into them. And one culture ain't talking about nation, but they're talking about nation destruction. And when that culture, there it, 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 it ain't no more destruction left, 
you become a slave. Yeah. Because all the other people that was talking about nation building to put you in a box. Most you got to go to the. You got to go to the, 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 the Arab. He owned all the stores in the neighborhood. The China man owned all the stores in the neighborhood. The white man got all the bank loans in the neighborhood. What does that leave me? That, leave, that makes me a slave by default, it even does. if I don't want to be. It and does. then I'm watching myself self destruct. My little boys is hopping out the window, doing everything these rappers say they do. SRT scat pack, pull a drill, and destroy my black woman. So uh, when one when when you're not talking about nation building, when nation building ain't a focus or a focal point on the uh, the homestead, yes, you gonna come outside the house and you're not gonna be nation assertive. You're not even gonna be a soldier or a warrior in the nation process. You'll be a terrorist. Right. You turn the nation up. Right. So uh, we we deliver uh, that aspect in our music. We deliver that aspect in our. Uh, and our commentary more times than not, and a lot of times we deliver that aspect in the movies and TV. Right. Uh, I even tried to Google uh, a movie where the black man came out as a winner. Oh yeah. Like on top, like uh, John Wayne movies or something like that. Do we have any of those? No. We don't. No. We, we don't. We no. don't. You know. So uh, these are the kind of things that subconsciously we don't think about often, right. but they play a big role. And if mom and daddy ain't at home, what I'm gonna see on TV that make me feel good. If, my, if, if daddy got to work 12 hours, right. what black man do I get to see on TV that make me, that even resemble daddy kind of sort of? Right. Nah, these people are like killers and dealers and, and hell. Dealers and and that oh God. Yeah, or, or they uh, liking the same sex or something. They don't do nothing daddy nothing. do. Nothing. Daddy nothing do. At all. I see a couple of hoopers, a couple of football players. They don't even do nothing daddy nothing. do. Nothing. Like, nothing. Cause when the camera go off, daddy I heard with the hammer and nail and the saw and building a room on the back of the house and he growing a garden, he watched the concert. I don't get to see that from the hooper, right. the football player, and I, right. and I sure don't get to see it from the, the total crash out super gangster guy. And no, not at all. Not at all. Not at all, man. It's, it's, it's crazy how our world is today, man. And how, you know, some people can say it's easy, but it ain't. And, and it's gonna take more than just a handful to, to get their point across, you know what I'm saying, to these youngsters. Um, they a different breed. It most definitely started in the house first. You know, y'all, you know, for the ones that disagree with that, you can argue with me up and down about that, but if it don't start in the house, I don't know where else it could be starting from, for real. Well, it take a village too, you know. So when I, where I grew up at, and this may be just me personally, my grandmama, my auntie stayed next door to my grandmama, my cousin stayed up the road, we had another cousin stay around the corner, so you really couldn't get away with nothing. Somebody was always looking out the window. Somebody was mm -hmm. always, and that's another thing. Uh, back in them days, black folks telling on you. Mm -hmm. Grandma calling down the street for you, you make it home, somebody done told on you, brother. Mm -hmm. And I ain't talking about told on you on the snitch side, told on, told on you to save your life. Save your life. So when grandma when grandma got that call that you were down there and Miss Fanny and them y'all fighting and woo, 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 and you got home and grandma already knew about it you didn't go back down there and say what y'all told on me for right grandma was trying to save your life trying to save your life for real for real yeah, yeah. and grandma even had a saying if you ain't gonna tell I'm gonna whoop everybody for real everybody was gonna whoop you can just be fighting up. my cousin be the fight. hey he did it he did it. <laughs> bro what you doing grandma said she whooping everybody bro and go I ain't finna, I'm not finna get beat for you going nigga under there yeah, quick but, but he did it you know. You must be from the same generation. <laughs> you must be from the same generation. Okay. This is, yes, yeah, this, this is a whole other generation. Oh, another man. Well, man, we, we've been chopping it up, man. You know, first of all, let me stop for a second, man. Told y'all who he was, but I ain't let him introduce himself, cause man, every time he get around me, the conversations be so solid, and I be getting so much knowledge and gain from him, so y'all gotta understand why I was so eager to cut on his camera and jump straight into it, but man, before we move any further, let these folks know who you are and what you do around here, bro. Okay, first of all, I'm third degree, third degree the boss's boss, third degree I am he on all social media platforms and whatnot. Uh, I'm an artist, I'm a father, I'm a veteran, uh, I'm a mentor, I'm a son, uh, uh, it's just, uh, I'm a jack of all trades, I'm, I'm a gardener slash farmer. Uh, I do it all. If you if you if, if I don't know how to do it, I go look it up. You know, what I'm saying I'm very informative. Try to stay informed on top of the game. And, and right now, I dedicate a lot of my time to uh, helping develop young boys into young men. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And that is very important. Like we've been talking about already for the first <laughs> ten minutes of this interview, y'all. I'm sorry about that. You know, y'all know how it go, man. Uh, the bus the uh, the bus stop conversations can get real, and depending on who it is. 
these interviews can get pretty long, you know. You see, what I'm I ain't never sat back. I never, yeah. I, I did yeah. not decide, man. I'm gonna yeah, back. yeah, yeah. We was having a real deal, you know, the meat and potatoes, trying to make sure these people get it. You know what I'm saying? Understood, understood. You do music as well too, though, bro, right? Yes, sir. Man, uh, 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 what was the influences on there? What made you, what made you jump in that lane? I, I, I grew up in in the church, man. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna take it back there, uh, and I couldn't sing, but I could put words together. So. Uh, Somewhere along the, the, the lines of getting that first radio and that first tape, you know what I'm saying? I'm from that era, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hearing somebody else put down a demo made me, oh, I can do this too, you know what I'm saying? Then I had a, way, a real witty way of every time I heard a song on the radio, I knew it right then. Like when I heard it on the radio, the next time I heard it, I knew all the words. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. I didn't know how I knew that. Like, how the f And it was always a beat playing in my head, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And I got to the point where I was, used to tell my mom, hey, man, take me to the studio, please, please. Well, get on out of here. Nobody got time. There ain't nobody got time for that. To other people start telling me, "Hey, right. your son, oh, he he pretty, you know what I'm saying?" So, uh, 20 years plus. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, oh yeah. We same generation. About yeah, 20 years plus with me too. One day that we didn't start same time type shit for real, for real. Man, what's your what's your outlook on the music scene in Arkansas? Oh man, I think that by us being, the, I think truthfully, Arkansas is the last state in the South. Yeah. Without a major, uh, not a major artist, without a major impact. Yeah. And yeah. we are at a pivotal point in hip hop where CDs ain't selling uh, anymore. Yeah. Streaming services are the big conglomerate. DJs are no longer uh, who they used to be, and they trying to figure out the new, the new thing, and the artists trying to figure out the new thing. And I think we're at a pivotal point where we can create something new. Right. We don't have to continue to be the uh, the status quo or the industry standard. Arkansas can actually develop what the new thing is going to be because yeah. we haven't been tampered with. We right. haven't been uh, uh, soiled, as, as mm -hmm. one would say. And I think uh, the reason why we haven't had that breakout moment is because we have spent a lot of time trying to be like or sound like somebody or else. Uh, gravitate to somebody else as opposed to being original. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and we know that that Razorback of nothing else is, is original. Right. Man, um, is it an artist out right now or that you heard? That you would say, that's the Arkansas sound. Yeah, me. Mm. I gotta, I gotta be, um, I gotta be there only because I be outside of the state, shaking hands and making plans and trying my best to make sure I don't sound like uh, the Texas or the New Orleans or the Memphis or the the Tennessee. But I, I do have a lot of other people in Arkansas that I listen to. Right, uh, right. Uh, Jay Ship, Magnolia Elvis. Mr. LV from down south Arkansas, just to name a few, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a plethora of artists. I was just hearing uh, the young brother, H, uh, Zay HD, had a new single yeah, yeah. was dropping uh, yeah, I'm fucking yesterday with morning, I believe. I seen yeah. it on, on, on one of the social platforms. But uh, it's several Arkansas artists that got a distinct sound. Yeah. They own sound, they own wave. It's just collectively, I think we're looking for um, the one artist from the one city. Yeah, and the whole state should be a city. Right, 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 right. That's real talk, man. Cause we ain't, we on our population <coughs> don't. There's no. I don't think we have a million, a million plus city in the state. Right, right. Arkansas, Little Rock may have two hundred thousand. Right. Shit, I think it's four million all together yeah, in the state. Four million all together in the state. Yeah. So you know, uh, uh, we don't have a, a a jailing place where we can take this music to where everybody can get familiar with. Where I, I've said this several times on different platforms. Yeah. Um, Fayetteville don't know what's going on in Lake Village. Lake Village don't know what's going on in Jonesboro, and Jonesboro don't know what's going on in Texas County. They're real dope. But we should, because we the should. state only got four million people. Right. And so that's where the DJs and the blogs and the, those conglomerates come in and make sure that they're putting the light on these people who actually got a sound or, or a wave or some decent music or, or right. curating that. But uh, too often they just take some money from anybody and play anybody, you know, or say Use it as a hustle. Yeah, so, you know. Instead of, instead of a platform to build. Yeah. You know, and I understand that, but psh, don't understand it if somebody... We, we talking about <laughs> right, right, we're talking right, about right, 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 right. So if, if, we, if we talking about building something, I don't understand it either. No. Nah. If we talking about just following the line, then I can understand it. it. Yeah, man. But I don't want to just follow the line. For sure, for sure. Need more and want more yes. up out of it. Well, man, third degree, check it out, man. These sit-downs don't be too long. We at the bus stop. Yes, sir. I appreciate You know what I'm saying? Stop. Man, let these folks know one more time how to find your location, you hear any of your music, any of that. Man, T-H-I-R-D-D-A-G-R-E-E. -E. That's T-H-I-R-D-D-A-G-R-E-E -E on all social media platforms, third degree, third degree, I am he. 
public relations, uh, artist uh, development, DJ connections. I'm also an Esquire DJ, so uh, tapped in with uh, Atlanta market, California market, New Jersey market, uh, Boston market. Uh, just get with me. Third degree on all platforms. And J Chef, I salute you and thank you for letting me come sit down on the bus stop. Man, sir. man, respect, boy. Man, yes, respect. Sir. I told you I'm going to get you in. I got you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all know what time it is, man. Book a ticket. Don't miss this shit till next time. Let go. Yes, sir.